Sporland presents the next generation of CDS conversion kits that make it possible to convert nearly all A8 or sport pressure regulators into Sporland stepper motor valves. The retrofit is easy. A typical installation only takes about 30 minutes. The Sporland CDS conversion kit eliminates the need for time-consuming and sometimes dangerous brazing because the existing A8 or sport valve body stays in the system piping. The conversion kit reduces valve complexity and external seal surface area. The conversion kit creates tight seating for defrost and pump-down applications and doesn't require pressure drop for operation. Installation can be performed any time of the year without worrying about how ambient temperatures will affect the valve readings. The Sporland pressure control compensates automatically. To minimize downtime of the refrigeration system, it is recommended to install and set up the valve control and sensors before or while the refrigerant is being recovered from the circuit. Okay, let's step through a typical CDS conversion kit installation. First, back out the adjustment stem on top of the bonnet on the existing valve until it can be loosened by hand. On the side of the existing adapter, remove the cap and turn the manual open feature to the open position. Next, the circuit or condenser to be modified should be pumped down, isolated, and residual refrigerant reclaimed. Remove the coils and all wiring at the relays or other connections in the control panel. Any vacant knockout holes should be plugged per electrical code. Make sure the internal pressure in the valve has been reduced to a safe level. Now, slowly loosen the four valve bolts to release any residual pressure, then remove the bolts completely. Remove the existing bonnet, adapter plate, cartridge, and all associated seals from the existing A8 or sport body. Inspect the gasket seating surface on the original valve body. If necessary, use a lightly oiled rag to ensure the surface is clean, flat, and free of debris. Now you're ready to install the CDS kit. Using refrigerant oil, lightly lubricate the new gasket seal and replace. Line up the hole in the new gasket with the alignment pin protruding from the sealing surface of the valve body and press it into place. Now lubricate the O-ring for the new CDS adapter. Align the keyhole in the CDS adapter with the alignment pin protruding from the sealing surface of the extending body and install. Using the new bolts that were supplied with the CDS adapter, Bolt the adapter to the existing body, tightening the bolts in a star cross pattern. For A82 conversions, using the large adapter, tighten bolts to 22 foot-pounds of torque. For A8A, A81, and sport conversions, using the small adapter, tighten the bolts to 10 foot-pounds of torque. You're now ready to wire the CDS valve. Route the conversion kit cable to the appropriate control panel. Prevent damage to the cable by using grommets or strain reliefs whenever the cable passes through the panel or any metallic bulkhead. Take care that the cable routes avoid hot pipes or sharp edges and make sure to properly support the cable throughout the route. Connect the four cable leads to the Sporland pressure or temperature control or to a suitable third-party control or interface board. Refer to the control manufacturer's recommendations for the correct wiring sequence for the control. The CDS conversion kit installation is now finished. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for setting up your valve control to complete the system upgrade. Once installed, the CDS conversion kit will pay for itself through improved system performance, future serviceability, and diagnostic capabilities. The Sporland CDS conversion kit more productive, more efficient, more cost-effective. Sporland Division of Parker Hannafin. Working smarter, not harder.